it's me, Celine, and I just made a really simple breakfast. It's just toast and eggs, and I'm going to eat it with some of this liquid seasoning. Um, it's like soy sauce, but a little different. <laughs> I used to eat this all the time when I was younger. Like, my mom would make this for me, and it's just so simple. It's literally eggs, soy sauce, and toast, but it's so good. So that's what I'm having for breakfast today. Then we dip the toast in the yolk. I'm actually not a super big fan of yolk, but I will eat it like this. I have a lot to do today for school. I have classes and ITA, and I just have things to do that need to be done. I have a lot of readings. I also need to go to the library to pick up a book and this is the first time I'm going to the library to actually look for the book and borrow it. This isn't the first time I've ever rented a book from the library but usually I do this thing where you go on the library website and you find the book and then the librarians get it for you. It takes like two days and I just, I really need the book now. I also have to start grading assignments because my students had an assignment due last week and so I need to start grading them. I also make coffee, which is my lazy, lazy coffee. <laughs> So every day, same old, same old, I start with a new to-do list. For today's list, I just put school stuff because today I'm like solely just wanting to focus on school. putting lotion on my elbows because they're ashy but I'm on campus now I have like 35 minutes until I have to be in class and I think I'm gonna head to the library and try to get that book um, that I need I went from campus and reunited with my Ben Ben. I got Chick-fil-A because I was starving. I'm always starving um, after um, my classes. It's like 4 p.m. and um, this morning I just had like eggs and toast. So I got a salad. I get this Southwest salad with just regular chicken nuggets. Also got a small fry that I was eating in the car already. Mm -mm. For the dressing, I get the avocado lime ranch. It's so good. Then I got the, ooh, the tortilla chips and the chili lime pepitas, which I don't even know what pepitas are. Pumpkin seeds. Mm. This is so good. I haven't had it in a while. So it's tasting extra delicious today. Dr. Pepper, beautiful waffle fry, Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm -mm -mm. I would have changed into a t-shirt like the moment I got home, but I have to go to the grocery store. I have to buy more dog food for Benny.
I made spicy garlic edamame to snack on while I did some work and some reading stuff. That's Benny scratching himself. Are you okay, sir? I was too lazy to film it, but I literally made this in my last like two or three videos. So if you want to know how to make this, watch like my latest what I ate in a week. Mm -mm -mm. I want to get started on the books I got at the library. I'm kind of like looking forward to reading them. I'm gonna get some other work done while I snack on this because I don't want to get my grubby little fingers on these library books. Um, but if you're curious, uh, I'm currently working on a project about Vietnamese American restaurants. I don't know if you could tell, but like food um, is a really big interest of mine, you know, as well as uh, Asian American issues and like social media. Um, so I go back and forth a lot on what I've been wanting to write um, my thesis on. My upstairs neighbor is vacuuming right now. So now I'm reading a bunch about just food in the U.S. and restaurants in the U.S. and like ethnic foods in the U.S. First book is called Eating Out. Book is written by two UK sociologists, but still has a lot of very useful information. Um, and then this one, I wasn't planning on buying this one, but I saw it and I thought it would be very helpful. It's um, called Eating Asian American. It has a little sriracha bottle on it. And if you didn't know, sriracha is made in the US by a Vietnamese American man. Um, and they like don't have sriracha in Asia. Whenever you're in Vietnam and you go eat pho, they don't have sriracha, which it's so like, it's shocking because it's so common over here. Like people kind of correlate this, not even with pho anymore, like sriracha is like in everything now, like all different types of Asian cooking. But sometimes people just assume that it was made in uh, like Vietnam, like cause everyone here eats it with pho. Um, but no, they have like a different kind of hot sauce, which it's not the same. Good morning everyone, I've already eaten breakfast and made myself coffee. I just used the Lee's Vietnamese coffee concentrate, um, it's kind of all I have right now. I need to buy more Nespresso pods for my Nespresso. When I went to bed last night, I thought I was going to wake up really early today and like head to a coffee shop, but um, that didn't happen. <laughs> Today, I just really felt like being home and being in my office, so that's what we're doing. And I'm sure Benny's really happy about that. He's sitting on his little chair right now. But yeah, I get to be comfy and um, get work done here. I kind of also want to organize my office. It's actually a huge mess. Like, I don't know if you ever see like this side of my desk, but it's just like a mess and has like no organization to it. I need to get some things done first, like email things and just like TA duties I have. I'm planning to do that the first beginning or the first half of the day and then the second half of the day I'm going to work on my own research. So that's the plan. This is currently what my desk setup looks like um, and it's not too bad it's just this space is very very cluttered so 
I'm going to fix that with the snap of my finger. Oh my goodness, I can't even snap. Let me try my other hand. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Was that a good transition or not? Probably not. But anyways, here is my desk. You can see Benny. He's my little desk troll. If he's not sitting under there, he's sitting right here. But back to the desk, I finally hung this up. Also put up this clock and then I organized this area. I have so many notebooks. If I ever buy another notebook in my life, please yell at me. But anyways, I cleaned up most of the mess. Um, and yeah, everything's looking good and clean so I can get back to work. I'm going to be making a little snack and my refrigerator likes to make noises every time I decide to film. I accidentally discovered this combination while having a little charcuterie night. But first you need these bagel chips, the toasted garlic flavor, so good. And that should be good for a little snack. Then I have this spinach and artichoke spreadable cheese. Honestly, all of the flavors of this brand are pretty good. Um, I usually get the garlic and herb one, so I get a little bit, spread it on my little bagel chip, just like that. So here we go, got my bagel chips and cheese. Then I'm going to get jalapeno slices, which have been my current snack obsession. But these ones aren't that spicy. I think I could have got like the medium or hot because this is kind of just like a pickle to me. And I take one of these and put it on top like that. And that's my, that's my snack. <laughs> it's like so good for some reason. And then I'm gonna get some of this deli meat. <laughs> I don't know what this one is called, uh, but I like this one with all of the like fat in it. I'm gonna say it's the hot calabrese because it's not the salami or it could be the capocola capocola I only need like two slices to snack on oh well mm, yeah, this and this is my lovely snack plate helps me get through the work So I'm going to end my video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Say something, Benny. He is a man of few words. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, me and Benny love you. Bye. <laughs>